All right. So again, for those of you that are new to our town hall, I say this every time, but this is my favorite part of the presentation of our town hall. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. And I want to introduce you to our fearless leader, Mr. Mitchell Cho. Mitchell, you want to go ahead and take the floor? Yeah, thanks, Marianne. Thanks. What, a, what an introduction. Um, hey, everybody. Uh, yeah, I want to thank you all for um, you know attending today's town hall. You know, I know we're all really busy, but it's important to connect with everyone and, and you know give you all an opportunity to learn more about the company and, and the direction we're headed. So, um, you know, as you've all heard, right, we've experienced a lot of growth over the past few years and, and we're still growing. You know, as you can see on the screen, this is our revenue growth, something like 11,000 percent over the past 10 years. Um, next slide. And on this slide, this is, uh, uh, you know, you can see the growth of our workforce. This is the number of employees. You know, just last year we passed the uh, 100 employee mark, which was a big milestone. And we're kind of on track to double that possibly before the end of this year. So, you know, I feel like we're adding such you know, incredible new people to the company daily, right? Susan brings it up a lot how, uh, for example, our, our USCIS uh, staff is some of the most incredible and professional people she's had a chance to work with. Um, so, uh, you know, and as Abby mentioned, you know, I was recently, I recently had the opportunity to be interviewed on the radio and uh, they and other people ask me all the time, you know, what's the story to Federated success? You know, how does Federated keep growing? And uh, next slide. The answer is it's a story uh, about evolving, right? Even my role as a CEO has been evolving. Uh, Eric will tell you, right, his role keeps evolving too. Um, it's evolution and growth, not only for the company as a whole, but but in terms of, uh, um, you know, not, not just in terms of like revenue and employees, but also individual and, and professional growth. And um, a lot of you, too, your, your roles are evolving. You know, Eric gave you uh, several examples of, of uh, promoting a lot of you from within. You know, so what is the secret to, to Federated's growth? Uh, next slide. So number one, right, we know how to win. Uh, that's the first part. We have a really great BD team here, you know, led by Mark and Eric and 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 Tammy and, and Tammy and Rafia and Sabaga, you know. Also, uh, we're also really we excel at finding the best people. You know, our recruiting department is amazing. Uh, that that's led by Eric and Summer and Elise, right? I mean, we have these daily recruiting calls, and it's it's really a sight to see. You know, that team going through all the candidates. All the new candidates we find on a daily basis, all the new ideas for finding and weeding out candidates to find find the best people, you know. And, and of course, you have operations, uh, making sure we deliver to the customer and, and fulfill our contract requirements. And that's, you know, mostly led by Susan and, and Frank and, and Anthony and Zara. You know, Susan's leadership is really impressive. And, um, of course, you know, uh, Marianne and Youthy and Abby, they really put a lot of thought and effort uh, about you guys and ways to uh, engage with our workforce. Um, so we know how to win. We know how to find exceptional people. We know how to deliver to the customer. Now our focus is how do we keep our people? Okay. And I think we're doing a, a good job of that. Um, our retention numbers are good. Uh, more than 80%, I think, in the past 12 months. Um, next slide. But, right, the workplace is changing. It's evolving fast. Um, and we as a company need to keep up with the, the changing times, right? You know, my father is 84 years old. Uh, he was an accountant for a trade show company called Breedy. He, he worked there for almost 50 years uh, until he uh, retired just a few years ago. Um, and I I'm sure a lot of you can say uh, probably the same thing about your parents, right? Uh, that was normal in, in that generation to work for one company your whole career, grow with that company, build lifelong relationships with your coworkers, and, and, you know, that company would take care of you with a pension, you know. Um, my father, still to this day, he eats lunch like once per month with his old work friends near the office building that they used to work with, even though that company is no longer even there. Um, so, you know, today's workplace is, is completely different, right? It's normal for people to switch jobs every year or every few years. You know, it's so easy with LinkedIn and career builder and the internet to find another job, you know, a, 
a better paying job, maybe, right? More engaging organization, right? A company with a mission that you align with better, possibly, you know, um, even in my career and, and most of yours, right? Going into the office, that was the norm, right? Going in every day. Uh, it was a given, right? If And if you wanted to really get ahead, right, you'd be the first one in and the last one to leave. Um, you know, we, we built relationships with our coworkers outside of work. I can still remember, um, you know, my buddy from my first job as a contractor for the Coast Guard. We would have lunch together every day. You know, we would we'd even work out like together at the gym downstairs in Coast Guard headquarters after work. Right now, um, we've learned to work in our socks right? and maybe not even leave the house all day. Um, you know, of course everyone is having a different experience, right? And, and I need to give special appreciation for those of you that do go into the office, right? Maybe you prefer, as I do, uh, to work in an office uh, versus working at home. But, you know, none, nonetheless, the workplace is changing. We can all see that. Um, COVID resulted in a lot of work becoming virtual, right? It's a, it's a cultural shift that that normally would have taken, uh, you know, a decade or more, but but it happened in a year, um, you know, we've learned that we can do this work from home, but, uh, you know, what are some of the unintended outcomes, right? Disconnection from your colleagues, less, less purpose in your day, perhaps, right? The work, workplace is changing for good or for bad, you know, and we, and we as a company, um, we need to understand this change and, and adjust our culture kind of accordingly, right? So, um, we're not the only company dealing with this. Right, this change. Uh, we're all trying to navigate these changes, and, and changes are coming fast. Um, next, next slide. So, for those of you that follow the news closely, right, the economy is not in the greatest shape. The Fed uh, just rose interest rates 20, uh, 75 basis points last month. They're going to raise them again in December. Um, you know, the tech companies are doing all these massive layoffs and hiring freezes. Amazon is going to lay off 10,000 workers. Facebook and Disney, are, they're, they're doing hiring freezes. Um, AI, artificial intelligence, machine learning, that's, that's coming fast, you know, which will further change the workplace with machines and computers doing a lot of, a lot of human jobs, right? But fortunately, FedWriters is in a good place. We're not laying off anybody, um, quite the opposite, actually. Our balance sheet is, is strong. Our pipeline is strong. Uh, the federal government spends and, and they pay their bills. Um, we've actually seen a growth in opportunities. Uh, and, um, you know, we have a current backlog of work for the next three to five years as a, at a minimum. Um, so, you know, the major also the majority of our work cannot easily be replaced by AI and machines, right? We provide human capital. That's our product. Uh, you know, we're not building cars or goods. We're providing research services, writing services, brain, brainy type services, right? We're human capital. Um, so this is all to say that, uh, you know, I and, and the leadership team here at FedWriters, we're doing a lot of thinking and, and talking about the changing workplace and, and new workplace trends, you know, moving to a remote workplace, advances in recruiting, uh, quiet quitting. I'm sure you guys have heard of that term, right? It's a, a trend these days, basically, where employees do the absolute bare minimum. Um, and, and that's not what I want uh, as a company. And I'm sure not, none of you want that either, right? To do the bare minimum just to get by. You know, that's that happens when the workforce is not motivated, not engaged, you know, doesn't feel like the company cares or, or hears them. So um, next slide. So we want to stay ahead of those trends, right? Quiet quitting, fears about robots and AI taking over your jobs, the, re the recession, layoffs, right? We know how to win. We know how to find exceptional people, and we know how to fill our con fulfill our contract requirements. And now we need to know how to retain our workforce. And as I said, you know, I think we're doing a great job with that so far, but but things are changing fast. So so we need to evolve. Um, you know, yes, the company is responsible for keeping you engaged, optimizing your employee experience, taking care of your employment needs, right? Pay, benefits, recognition programs. But, you know, we all must do our part to improve our own experience. And that means checking in with your teammates and, you know, ourselves, right? Speak up if there are opportunities to engage or improve your experience. 
you know, as humans, we're really good at taking care of other people. Um, but sometimes we for, forget to take care of ourselves, right? Um, next slide. So, you know, that being said, <clears throat> we're, we're going to send out a, an employee survey. You know, it's short. We're only, really not trying to um, make this burdensome or anything. But we want to hear from you. Uh, what can we do to um, improve your experience? What programs are working and, and what are not working, right? Uh, what can we do to better retain you? Um, you know, yes, I know. Pay me more. That's probably at the top of your mind. And, and we do have a process to do that. You know, our annual performance reviews are coming up. Uh, but, you know, COVID has really changed the workplace. Uh, it's got us all thinking about how we want to spend our time, our hours, right? We all have a finite amount of time. Um, at the same time, right, we all must earn a living. So, so how do we best spend our working hours? Is that constantly changing jobs? Is that quiet quitting? You know, is that working for an organization whose, whose mission you believe in, who treats you fairly, and, and who listens to your concerns? You know, that's the culture I want for FedWriters. So, you know, building building a workplace culture, it takes time. It, it's, it must be organic, natural, right? Not not kind of dictated by the HR department. So so this is your opportunity to, to help us sculpt our, our workplace culture. So, so yeah, so, I mean, that that's pretty much it. You know, this being the last town hall of the year, I just want to wish everybody a happy holidays. You know, we, we have some ideas for the holidays, but uh, we definitely want to hear from you. So, um, so yeah, so thanks everybody. And uh, yeah, now I'll pass it back over to Miriam. Thanks guys.